Hello, this is Hildron from the Computer Clan, and today I'm going to be showing you a sneak peek of Windows 8. Not really. I'm going to be showing you Windows 2, an old operating system from Microsoft. I believe this goes back to 1987, something, some late 80s. I'll just boot this up and show you around. So basically, we're going to be starting up MS DOS 6 because that's what we run Windows off of. And I have this little screen here that says, Welcome to Microsoft Windows 2.0. It's actually 2.03, I believe. Press any key to continue, and it starts up. Okay, so this is the MS-DOS Executive. Basically, if you don't know what that is, it's like the Explorer for older versions of Windows. However, it's terrible. There's like, there's no drag and drop. You can't name files without many restrictions. Uh, files can't have spaces in them. They can't have special symbols. They can't be more than eight characters. It's very, very restricted and not user friendly. To transfer files, you gotta know directories. You gotta type them into panels. You gotta memorize all that stuff. This is why kind of the Macintosh was better because you could do drag and drop and other keyboard shortcuts. And this was not capable of that. But it's still pretty cool to use as an old system. So we'll go to File About MS DOS Exec just to see the date. Yes, 1987 and let's do some things so basically uh, I'll double click this and we're in the win directory is what I just called it I called it win2 it's really just the C drive so this is the root as you can see we got the auto exec file and all the other command files here and the win file to start the system and all that stuff I'm not sure if that's the right win file there's a couple files named win but basically if the title of a file is like this, it's just a normal file. If it's bolded without an extension, it's a folder. So we can go into something like Windows, and now you got your program executables and any other files in here. Like there's a file in here called do this.txt. That's a text file. And it's a to-do list that I think was in here as either an example or someone actually put it in here in the disk image. So this is a notepad basically and your menu bars are inside the windows like they are in current versions and you could click this menu to get your window options and you can double click the title bar to maximize and you can also do this button to maximize and this button to minimize so it goes down here as a little icon you can also double click this menu to close the window so let's go back to the win2 directory and I will open up uh, some of my documents I made a my docs folder so like for instance Microsoft Paint double click this and we get a little paint file here and we can do whatever we want with this because it's a fully enabled paint program except it's a little weird to use because the cursor isn't handled too well I don't know if that's just because of virtualization so yeah that's paint and I'll show you this version 2 so yep version 2 of paint and we'll close that discard the changes uh, test document dot this is a Windows write file so it's kind of like notepad but you have a lot more options this can also all be operated by keyboard shortcuts so here's write Microsoft Windows write version 2.03 so we can close this and to do dot text this is a little to-do list test that I made inside notepad okay so this system could handle quite a bit of multitasking so for instance I can minimize that come back to that later I can work on this I can minimize that come back to it later I can work on this minimize that and come back to it later and just work on this one document and if I want to browse my files I'll bring back the executive if I want to maximize this go full screen and browse things I can do that in the meantime I can just minimize this in the background while I work if I want it back I can do that Okay, so another way to change directories besides clicking in the path here is you go to special, change directory, and you type in the directory you want to go to. So I'll do slash windows, and now we're in the windows directory. And you can launch other programs like Reversi. Can you believe it? Reversi. So now I can play Reversi. I have no idea how to play this game, but I'm just going to click to show you that it works. So that's basically it. You can change your skill level. And you can also just close these just by clicking on them once and click close in the menu. And there was Alt Tab in this system. It didn't bring up an interface, but you could Alt Tab between your windows, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'll just close this. We also have a calendar, which is absolutely lovely. It was decent for the time. You can type in certain things you want to do here. I think you can even set alarms. I'm not sure if how to really handle this. Now I have an alarm in there, I guess. Let's see, controls. 
Hmm. I don't know if I have sound working on this. I'll just close that. And don't save changes. And card file, it's basically an address book. So, you know, you can type in some names, whatever else you want. And you can add, add phone numbers, stuff like that. 2.03. Close that. And of course, uh, these font files, I believe these are fonts. That just makes sense. And we have PIF Edit, which PIFs are basically like the old version of shortcuts. And I'll show you a directory with those. I don't have any of the programs in there that correspond to them in this PIF directory. None of these will be able to open because I don't have the disk for those. So I'll go back to the Windows directory here. And clock, here's another program. Yes, the clock looks just like the one on XP, but a little less colorful. But the XP clock does still look crappy like this, believe it or not. We can maximize that clock so you never forget what time it is. Change the brightness of my screen there. So I'll close this like that. And let's go to the control panel. And it's a, oh, wait, first I want to see the calculator. Yep, here's the calculator. You can do math. You can type in the numbers. Or you could actually use the mouse and it works great and yeah now we'll do the control panel so basically this color scheme is not the default color scheme you don't get this blue background and you don't have the green and blue menus and titles like this in the preferences menu of this this is where you get the screen color settings and you can change them all from here and experiment with what colors you want for certain user interface elements across the entire operating system. So that's how you can change those and you can also install printers from here which of course I don't have any printers hooked up to this so I'm not even going to attempt to do that. So that's the basics of um, using programs inside Windows. If we close out of the executive we can end the Windows session and we're back to DOS. So we can go to like CD dot dot and do edit auto exec bat. This is just like what I did in the Windows 3.1 demo. You can edit the basically the startup procedure. So I have it show all this stuff and then I have it clear the screen and say welcome to Microsoft Windows 2 and pause. That's when it says press any key to continue and then it calls win.bat which starts the operating system. So I could show you just by typing in dir it'll show the files in the C directory and you can see win is right there and that's a bat file. And if I do cd, which is short for change directory, c colon backslash my docs, oops, invalid directory, uh, let me try that again. And then I do dir, you can see the three files I was showing you earlier. There's five files in there, but those other two are actually hidden. So to get back in the system, after you're done with this, you can just do win. Oh, excuse me, I gotta go back to the root win, and it'll bring you back into the operating system. And when you're done, of course, you can close this out and go back to DOS version 6.22. So I hope you enjoyed this little demo of Microsoft Windows 2, clearly a very old operating system. And yeah, it's changed a lot through the years, as you can obviously tell. And it really, Windows 1 wasn't too good, Windows 2 wasn't too good, Windows 3 was okay, 3.1 is where it really started to take off. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video.